What's up, collectors? Welcome back to another episode of Pop Kingdom. Spammer. Weird. My name is Dom. Thank you guys so much. For Thank you guys so much for joining me in this meeting content. Wait, wait. No. No, 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 no. no. What the hell? That was weird. Welcome back to my channel guys. Yeah, this has been a very weird time. Those of you who don't know, which is probably most of you, I was removed from YouTube. My channel, both channels, Pop Kingdom and Pokedom, were deleted from YouTube. I was suspended from YouTube. Woke up one morning to check comments on my videos. Um, the last video I did was a Superman video, which is not doing very well either. So my channel was removed from YouTube. I was no longer allowed to post to YouTube, wasn't allowed to add another channel to YouTube. Turns out that my channel was removed for violating YouTube's policies. And the policy in question was scams, spam and misleading content i did a bit of digging on what those policies were and why on earth my channel would have been removed for that and still to this day i actually don't know why they removed my channel i managed to get it back within 24 hours um, all i did was appeal the process appeal the judgment on my channel and they gave me my channel back they didn't say sorry we were wrong you're not in violation they just said hi we've reviewed your appeal we've looked at getting at your channel and your channel's not in any violation. So I'm not too sure if there's like this auto process in the background that happens, you know, and channel gets removed. But basically my suspicion is that someone, I don't know who, I really have no clue who, reported my channel for spam or scam or misleading content. They all fall under the same policy that apparently my channel was in breach of. So yeah, that's that. Um, I met, like I said, I managed to get my channel back, but I just think it's so weird that it was taken down just like that. I didn't get any warnings for my content or whatever it was. I didn't. They didn't tell me which video was in violation. And apparently, just my channel as a whole. So you know, my suspicion is that there's one hater out there. You know, haters gonna hate, potatoes gonna bake, and you know, baiters gonna that that word um and you know so this person whoever it is and I'm, i have a sneaky suspicion it's the one person who always dislikes all my videos i'm not a big channel my channel is still very small guys um you know the growth was quite good in the beginning got a little bit laxy daisy because i don't post content that often this person whoever they is who, who whoever they are ended up probably reporting every single one of my videos to YouTube and maybe the algorithm picked up hey this channel gets so many reports on their videos let's just take it down so that's my sneaky suspicion there's someone out there probably watching right now who just doesn't like me doesn't like my channel maybe they think my channel is um, too competitive to them I don't know how my last video doesn't even have 50 views yet <laughs> but <laughs> that's that's that guys um my channel was removed for spam I was a little bit nervous in the beginning I was a little bit worried I'm like what the hell did I do wrong you know I've, I've, I've tried my best to just be you know by the books and all I do is share my Funko collection with you guys or figures that I collect or you know my other channel Pokemon cards not a big channel at all not really a competitor to anyone else doing this thing that's that misleading content you know my my thumbnails my headlines everything is by the book they are straight direct they tell you what the video is about you click on the video and the video is what i say the video is about you know i'm not trying to spam anyone or scam anyone into anything the giveaway that i have on my channel for the spider-man figure is not a scam either it's it's legit when my channel reaches 500 subscribers someone will win this awesome blacklight spider-man fungo pop and it's not a scam it's real that out of the way probably didn't need to make this video but i thought let me make it and hey it is a funko pop channel so let me just open at least one funko pop for you guys on the same topic of scam you know and spam let's rather say on the same topic of spamming funko has recently spammed us collectors with these asia exclusives you know so i thought i got one recently from clover records uh, in the Glen. 
So let me unbox that for you guys on the channel yeah, today. Keep it in line with the whole spam theme because we were spammed with a lot of these Funkos. I'm not collecting the whole range. They're far too expensive, far too difficult to get my hands on. But when I do get to grab one, I'll grab it because first of all, Joker is like you guys would know, my favorite Funko Pop to collect. So here we have guys, the Joker, Asia exclusive 2021 summer convention limited. There's the box, pretty freaking rad Funko to get. And um, what's cool is this one came in a nice little protector from Clover as well, we included the protector. It's in freaking mint condition guys. I'm really keen to have this. Really cool, keen to put it up on the shelf behind me, which is where all my Batman and Joker Funkos are gonna go. I'm just gonna open it up, show you guys what it's all about. You know, if you guys haven't seen my last video, go check it out. It's I opened up a really cool Superman um, figure, which is really freaking awesome. Oh, and there you have it. The paint job on this is beautiful. Holding the Joker card. It's got this like pink fade all the way down to purple. Um, in certain lights, it's beautiful. The green hair that, that, that shines on this thing is beautiful. But yeah, if you're gonna talk spam, Funko have really spammed us with these Funkos um, as of late. The back of the card even has detail. That's really, really awesome. This is cool. I don't see much paint over spill like on the face. There's nothing at all, actually. The Joker card is detailed as crispy as anything. So there's my latest little Funko that I've gotten. It's actually the most recent Funko Pop I've bought. I still have a ton of boxes to unbox for you guys. Just need to find the time to do it. I almost wasn't going to get to do it because my channel was removed. I can still unbox for you guys. Just clearly just an oversight from, from um, YouTube's part. But my channel's back up and running. Hoping in this new year. Happy New Year, by the way. Gosh, a whole video went by and I didn't wish you guys a happy new year. But anyway, happy new year to all of you. Hope to I hope this new year brings collectors, new collectors, you know, to the I'm just talking crap right now. Just happy new year guys. <laughs> happy new year. Happy new year. Happy new year. Compliment of the season. Gonna be hearing that a lot all the way through till February. This is my latest haul, really crispy looking metallic Asia exclusive Joker. Um he's gonna be in box behind me on the shelf. Before I leave you guys, there is still a giveaway on my channel for this Spider-Man Blacklight Funko Pop with t-shirt. Um, all you have to do is make sure you guys subscribe to my channel, comment in the comment section below, hashtag road to 500, and you'll obviously stand a chance to win this Funko Pop with t-shirt. It's a really cool Funko Pop guys, the value on this is staying quite stable, it's not, not dropping. If anything, it climbs here and there and then comes back down to its normal going rate, which is still it's like it's quite good so really cool black light funko to have in the collection that's it from me guys your number one south african spammer scammer misleading content youtuber i make a joke i make a joke that is it from me guys my name is dom thank you guys so much for joining me don't forget to leave a like comment on the video if you guys enjoyed the content and yeah until the next video guys peace